This is Neil with Efficient Automation. We've already um, downloaded the programs to the Spider. Um, now we're going to go out and we're going to discover the points. I've already gone ahead and discovered some, but I want to show a couple that I'm going to have to show you guys um, how to bring in when it comes to Honeywell. So we're going to scroll all the way down. So here we go. Current state. So here's going to be our occupancies for the um, for the fan command. So what I want to do is grab enumeration writable. We're going to add two of them. The first one, we're going to name it the same name. Current state. Now I'm going to show you right here you have analog value 100 so you need to go right here to this analog input change it to analog value give it its address 100 then i've already created the range right here i'm using the honeywell uh, function blocks where it automatically does it but um, you can see where it automatically saves some you got zero uh, for occupied one for unoccupied you can Create your own ones. Then we're going to go to this next one. We're going to rename this one to next underscore state. We're going to do the same thing. Make it analog value. Next state is 101. So we're going to take this and do 101. We've already got it right here in our time clock. Now, since both of them are already done, Click OK, bam, it's dropped it at the bottom right here. Now, another thing you're gonna need to know about when it comes to Honeywell is we normally create our own tuning policy where the default policy doesn't go out and write to the, uh, the occupancy command. And what'll happen is, is you'll have these, it, it'll bounce and you'll see it go from occupied to a crazy number to which is right down here at the bottom if it's not if you don't set the tuning policy so what we'll do is we'll go over here to tuning policies we'll right click on default click duplicate and we'll call it schedule policy then we'll go right here we want to make it the max right time one minute once you've done that you click save go back to your points go down here and on the current state change that to schedule policy do the same thing for this one change it to schedule policy now from that point You're gonna go here and you're gonna see AX slot sheet. So when it comes to set points, uh, overrides, things like that. So for something like this, we're actually gonna link a schedule. So we don't want the set. So we're gonna go to config flags. And we're gonna highlight or click on hidden. Now when they right click, they will not see the set. You'll see override, auto, emergency override, you can actually take all this out if you want. You don't have to give them any of this ability. It's just dependent upon what you what you want to do. So now when you go to next state, you right click your actions. Now you're only gonna see these. So we can go to override, make it occupied. Bam, now, now the point is overridden from the schedule. So we have a couple other occupancies in here for, uh, we have a lighting control that's on the first floor that they wanna be able to uh, write to a, um, a network set point for that. So we're gonna go ahead and create our same, do the same thing we did, uh, create enumeration writable points and then create analog value 115 and 116 and then uh, save it and we're ready to go.